So do you remember no delivery? Well, the game is finished. The demo was really great. And... The full game is here. And I have a save file. From where the demo left off. So it's not exactly... Um, where I was in my game, but it's a, a separate game. You know, it's, it's the same thing, but it's also... You know, just a little different, is what I'm trying to say. So if you missed my first stream of this... I would say check it out. Uh, the reason... remember, there's a bunch of different employees in this game. So this employee is, I think, a security guard. The one I had in the demo was um, a waitress, I believe. So I'm going to be a little lost. A balloon floats in your way. What the hell? One trash, one dish, one ticket. Oh god. Hello? Hello, hello? Uh, hi. Welcome to your first night on the job. Aside from the position you were hired for, all employees have shared responsibilities. These include maintaining cleaning, cleanliness, disposing of leftover party memorabilia, and general extermination of any attracted pests. Other than that, you have access to anywhere on the premises, except for, you know, locked places. <laughs> I know, right? And that's the end of the script. You got any questions? Yeah, I thought so. Good luck tonight. So, I don't really even know how to explain this game. And it's been a while, so I don't even really fully remember, but... You can start a shift... ...whenever you... I think whenever you're done exploring the various areas. Hi everybody from Hope. Wrong turns... So we did the arcade. Is Did I only do the arcade in the demo? Okay. Arcade and another one. Yeah, because you did a lot of wrong turns. I did the back alley too, it's fine. As long as I don't have to start from scratch, I'm happy. Come on. You can fire... ...who you're playing as. And you can, like, get another... Like, this dude only has fun one. You know? Security. What the hell is this? This- I didn't see this in the demo. It's an advertisement for late night television. Catch your favorite dramas tonight. Channel 1, Tales from the Pizzeria. Channel 5, Localized Import Programming. It doesn't look like they're breathing. Oh, sorry about that. Just had to sneeze back to life there. Hey, you look new here. Did they find another replacement already? Anyhow, great to have some fresh blood around here. <laughs> oh, also looks like you found the best place to play hooky. You can go ahead and watch the tube if you want. Nothing's on at this hour anyway. Car keys. A dirty imprint of a stool. It may have been used to reach a window. An old TV and VCR. Enter channel. And now it's time for... Tales from the Pizzeria!
The last to leave, a waiter scrubs the tables long after their companions had left for the night. Damn guests, they muttered as their indignant scrubbing increased. Guess who's the one cleaning after you all? This sight was not unfamiliar to the waiter, as night after night, the responsibility of taking care of the greasy aftermass... A aftermass? After church, aftermath often fell to them. This involved checking under the tables for long-used gum, chasing out any unwanted pests, and other unsightly custodial duties. Perhaps their only saving grace was the odd overlooked items left by the guests during the day, which they would take to the lost and found. It started out with small things, toys, loose change, and the like, but then the items started to get valuable. The waiter had always felt the temptation to make off with the lost items, but the spoils grew, and one night they couldn't help themselves. After pilfering through the lost and found, they decided to dispose of the rest so as to not rouse further suspicion. Walking toward the dumpster in the alleys, they heard a low, almost guttural voice. You bring offerings? Bewildered, they jumped back and dropped the box on the rough asphalt. As if peering into the near-empty box, it rumbled. They had promised far better than this. They had promised something more valuable. A terrible thought occurred to the waiter, that they had never actually seen any of the guests that may have left their items after the shift. That there was a reason why the place was clean despite the times they chose not to stay behind most nights. That perhaps everyone had always left early for a reason, or rather, it was customary for employees to leave the place be at night. It stirred once again, this time its damp breath snaking over the waiter's shoulder. Oh my god, there's so much of this. They had promised something far more filling. And that's all for tonight on Tales from the Pizzeria. We hope to see you on next night shift. Dear God, vending machine's a familiar sight. Take a look. Oh, right, I, I am a security guard, so I can shoot. Channel 5 has a TV show on, too, but I definitely don't feel like reading again right now. Oh, you're not a child. I've seen many like you over the years. To endure such conditions for mere pl uh, pay, you have my respect. But for trying to unearth the history within these walls, you have my pity. You would call this place cursed? but it is those of your ilk that bring ruin to this establishment. <laughs> Only a fool would dare take advantage of that. These curtains are stained with the blood of those fools. Regardless, fool or not, we are all trapped in the maw of this beast. Beware the charade ahead. It is guarded jealously. Oh, thanks. I only say charade because of Pink Floyd. It's charade. What's this item? There's an item up here. Oh, we gotta pop the balloon. We I don't know why we're popping the balloon, but we gotta pop the balloon. Why does the balloon do seven damage to me? All right, the plates are good. The waitress was able to use the plates, if I'm not mistaken. We all pop down here, Douglas. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, shit. It wiggles suggestively. Shoot. Grab. Oh, get those hands. Those are bad touch hands. Lower the volume a little bit. Okay. Not good. Not good. Bad touch hands. Again. 
I need... I need, uh... HP. Alright. Got some trash in a dish. Music is pretty legit. It's weird as fuck, but appropriate. Fifty dollars found. Pop Rocks Firecracker. I found ten dollars in an open gift box just now. An unsightly crack mars the wall's surface. The outline of a door can be seen behind the wallpaper. I mean, balloon popping hurts if it's done, like, close to your face, I guess. A dirty imprint of a stool. Okay, so I need a, a stool. It's like that, um, episode of Mori, where the woman is afraid of balloons, and then Mori's like... And I've mentioned this on stream... before. But, it still is just a... historic moment of television, of assholery. Mori's like, well... You're afraid of balloons, look behind you! Because here's 45 balloons! <laughs> and she starts running away, and they chase her with the balloons. Um, and yes, there is a clown on the bottom right. I don't know who that clown is. Angry guest protocol in the event of disgruntled customer. Uh, control the situation, find the cause, say yes, serve any substitutes in stock. Congratulations, you've now learned to use subterfuge to avert messy situations. Um, in the event a guest does not receive what they ordered, do not attempt to remedy the issue by preparing the correct order. Instead, let the guest cool off and immerse themselves in the restaurant environment, then proceed to serve whoever, whatever's in stock. Congratulations, if the guest is still there, they are willing and able to come back for seconds. If not, that means that they were taken care of. And birthday protocol. Reserve parties like birthdays call for special treatment. Guests must be placed in the auditorium where they will be treated to a special birthday routine by the onstage cast. The song must be performed for the entire duration of the party. Congratulations. You've done the thing. That becomes, I think, you have to answer questions that you need to know those answers for. Mascot animatronic, uh, animatronic. listen into its routine. Another one. Standard operation requires surfaces clear of foreign contaminants. If you see another one of me, you mind cleaning us up? We'll give you something nice in return. Trash for green stuff. Bring more soon. Trash for gold. <laughs> Trashforgold.com. The year 2057. Trash becomes the world's most valued commodity. I'm going to hold on to the plates just in case I need them. Because I think with the waitress, you can toss. You can toss the plates, and you can use them as ammo. Oh my god. This place is scary. This wasn't in the demo. This is like the vomit in the ball pit moment. 
And again, you know, I saw the vomit in the ball pit at a Chuck E. Cheese. So this is definitely bringing back some repressed memories. Vinny, please save. I don't know how to save. I think it's an autosave thing. Oh, the telephone. Imagine that. You go to a Chuck E. Cheese, you open a present, and it's bullets. Because that's just what happened. Forgotten pairs of shoes line the rack. You got discarded sneakers. It's a mascot animatronic. There's a small slot in the mouth. A whirring can be heard from inside. Store unlocked. There are now two slots for money and change. Okay. Um, mint... Um... Heals uh, status problems. Permanent marker. A meaty pen that marks the target, making them more likely to be hit with critical uh, chance, higher critical chance. And we got sodas here too. I don't have any permanent marker. I'll take one of those. I'll take a soda. I like soda. Shack soda. You took a wrong turn and got lost within the tubes and ball pits of the playground. Notorious for keeping guests and their kids inside longer than intended. The playground has never been fully mapped nor navigated <laughs> its entirety. <laughs> There's a popular debate among employees about what to do with lost items accumulated within over the years. That is, if anyone is brave enough to fetch them. <laughs> okay. And this is the rogue light element, I guess, if you want to call it that. I'm actually in a fucking ball pit right now. That's amazing. It lurks below. This is- this is my kind of game. Could this be vomit? To, I need to heal. What did the dish do? It did nothing. Fuck. Pop rocks deal good damage. Yeah. Only the waitress can throw. Don't have a lot of food. I don't know what happens if you call it quits. 
I also can't run while I'm in the ball pit. There's no running in the ball pit. Oh god. Gotcha. Something brushes past your leg. Aw, oh, damn it. A larger aspect manifests. <laughs> Ball pit monster major aspect. Oh god. Oh, it's really... It's gonna be tough, this one. You can, oh, you can't shoot the ball pit! Fuck! Oh no. I, I am not doing any real damage to this thing. I might be underleveled for this, yes. That's my guess. That makes sense. Shoot. Miss! Security guard is so dead. Call it quits. I don't want to call it quits. Yeah, these things are doing way more damage than I'm doing to them. That's not entirely true, never mind. Oh good, the taser is, is quite excellent. I've been sleeping on the taser. Four of twenty HP, nice. Running out of food. Oh no. It's another major aspect. Can't escape. Casket. Oh. I used the battery. It didn't work. What? Escape. Can't escape. I guess there's just no escaping. Okay, I'm dead. All right. Here's another security guard. Oh wait, no, that was my old one. Employee fired, re-rolling new employee. It's another security guard. <laughs> hmm. Attendant. 
professionalism one, competence three, fun three, liability sixth finger plus one comp. Fear level terrified. Yes, we will stick with this employee. This is like the employee I had last time. Fu it's very fun. So you can see the wrong turns here. Reward folding stool. So if you do the wrong turns, you are rewarded with something. Money, cheesy bars, etc., etc. Vinny, you were the waitress? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, this this is a different play, uh, character entirely. So it's got Wambo Cambo, Ticket Spool, Light Gun. So I need pizza. I need, like, food. Pizza food. Like, real food pizza. WRONG TURN?! Ah. Oh. Okay, well this is an easy one. Body bag, it twitches ever so slightly. Yeah, good move. No, we're gonna have fun. Have some fun, body bag. It's a body bag survival guide. I'm more worried about my health. Dude's dead again. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm just getting employees killed left and right. Shit. Goodbye. Ah, oh, minus fifty dollars. The charade for the child continues. The establishment beckons. All debts must be repaid. But today is not that day. Do not disappoint me. You got fifty dollars. There's no escape so long as you work here. Mascot? Oh, I get to play as a dog? Professionalism zero. Competence one. Fun three. Liability, minus one prof- I don't know what that means. Profit? It's bony. Got, um, food combos again, and it pisses. Wait, did I do the alleys? Mer. Trash for green stuff. In the demo I did. Not this. Well, we need food. So the dog has power. Someone there? Listen. I know what this looks like, but please. Don't cut me loose. I'm still in the middle of hardening. Just a little more, and I can go outside. Nature calls. It causes nausea. Ah. Come on, successfully pee. Come on, pee. Yeah, that's a good move. Poisonous piss. Trash found. You got three brooms, and two trash. It's worth it. Uh, 
Oh, fuck. I remember this now. Mistakes were made. I am so dead. There's no running from this. The vent monster claims another one. God damn it, I like that dog. Wait, dog is not dead? One razor. What, five ammo. I think it's helping out people who suck at this, like myself. The flickering eye looks at you expectingly. Not yet. Two brooms. You got five plus five HP. I, I lived. We, we made it through the vents. Kind of. Disposable camera. We get another chance with the dog. I remember that. There was a number. Crack. It's thin enough to hear what's on the other side. Hey, the cheesy bar guy. Gotta say, needed that a lot more than it looked. It's- Emma, it's true! It takes a lot to do what I do, you know. Like those stories about the old show cast. Some of them faded away while on the job. Scared the kids something mighty fierce, I bet. Takes more than dedication to get the job done. But enough about my distant cousins. We ain't got it so bad, right? I remember this area. What? Oh! Was this an Elmo? The piss noises? Why is the accuracy so terrible? Oh, God damn it! What what is going on? Why does every character I play as suck? Wait a minute. Wait, I think I know what the the common thread here is. It's not the characters that suck. It is I who suck. Waitress. Professionalism 2, competence 1, fun 2, liability, ESL, fear level, startled. Well, the, the waitress is legit. It's the fear level that makes them miss. Possibly. I think I kind of want to go outside and do the alleyways real quick. Hmm. 
There's a gate key out there. Well, again, there's money. There's, you know, money to be had. I don't know. There's car if you clear- well, I have car keys. I don't know what to do. So I'm just gonna pop a balloon again. Not that one. The car guy is gone because you gave the cheesy bar to Elmo. I don't see now that is when did I play the demo of this? Six months ago? Something like that? Five five, six months ago? July. Some firecrackers. I get some revenge here because I have plates now, so I can throw the plates. Stop. Stop. I know that's a mimic. That was intentional. I just want to see if I get a, a decent item for killing it. One more hit. One more hit. One more hit. All right. You got two ammo, pop rocks, firecracker. Not bad. Trash dish ticket. Okay, so now... I don't remember this from the demo, but do I heal? Uh, do I heal when... Uh, not heal, do I level up, rather? <laughs> Sorry. Robots heal you, but, um... No, no, I mean leveling up. I, I just misspoke. Welcome to your first night on the job. You do not level up. Okay. Listen, I'm just gonna give you the lowdown. Do your job. When you clean, go deep, but not too deep. No one's coming after you. Uh, if you see anything strange or suspicious, just ignore it. It's probably just gonna go away anyway. And stay out of places that look locked up. Got it? I'd ask if you have any questions, but... Pro tip, don't ask too many questions. You know, try not to think too hard about all this. Whatever it is, there's probably a reason for it in company policy somewhere. Info and standards regulations employees must abide by. Waitress skill acquired. Okay, so now every waitress will have a new skill. So that's kind of the only way to level up, by finding different skills. What are you doing, balloon? Did the balloon just try to... summon? Also, that appears to have been a level up. HP went up by four. Summon aspect is a regen move. It said beckon aspect. No HP was restored. Did I break it? I would be- yeah, I would like to clean it. I don't think I can. It didn't give me the option to, at least. The notorious crane game rumor has it that it's not a game about skill, but of luck. Psst. Hey, 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 listen. 
You gotta get me out of here. I've been stuck in here for a while. Despite how soft it looks in here, it's incredibly uncomfortable. I'm not really in the position to crawl out, so... Looks like we're gonna have to play me out. The machine's able to exchange tickets for prizes. If we can empty it enough, I can get out. Come on, help a guy get unstuck. Whoa. Did not know they were stuffed with that. It's still pretty cramped in here. Need more tickets. Nope. That is a dead end. I'm always going to keep a little trash on me, just in case. I remember that arcade cabinet was a dead end. Play a game, not good. Trash is ammo for some skills, that's- yeah. Attendant position. So this is a level up for the attendants. $75. Just in the bathroom there. Strands of long hair can be found all over the sink. Ugh. Oh, sorry. Hope you don't mind I hog this toilet. Just really need to get this out of my system. I have one razor left. What do you think, chat? Middle, left, or right? Middle. It's the first one I saw. $75 again. And minty gum. However, that toilet has a shiny inside of it. Next razor I get, I'll try that one. I just had this weird memory when Five Nights at Freddy's became a thing and people were telling me about it. I thought it was called Friday Night, Friday Night Pizza. For like a week. I was calling it Friday Night Pizza. I did stream it. The green light turns red as you push it. What the hell? Oh. No, I knew it was Five Nights at Freddy's, but I kept mistaking it for Friday Night Pizza in my mind, and I would call it that. Like, it was one of those things that I knew was wrong, but I just did it anyway. I couldn't help it. The blood is surprisingly coagulated around the stump. A good face can cover that up. Uh... Was that bad? It could have it could have been a bad person. Damn it. You took a wrong turn inside the cold dark halls of the freezer. As an inhospitable stash for raw food items, the freezer attracts all manner of brave and desperate critters looking to dip into the restaurant's food, food supply. Thanks to its massive size and stock, the pizzeria had no need to rely on any form of food or ingredient shipment. If you were running low on anything, employees need only delve deeper inside.
Their chest heaves slowly. Oh. Their body- the body moves in an inhuman manner. Manner. Manar. Oh my god. I don't have a defend move, otherwise I'd use it. The counterattack wasn't that bad, at least. The waitress is amazing because you just always get plates. Faces turn slowly to you. Is this music in a different key now? Did, like, the pitch go up a bit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's one way to do it. Flop. No, I don't like any of that, chat. I'm dead. Ah! Uh, I have one chance at this. Oh, never mind, I'm dead anyway. I'm dead because, um, there's the popcorn. Take out heels. Oh, fuck that right up. Yay! It's another waitress. A better waitress, even. Do the next, um, crane game. Do I not have ten tickets? I just bought the tickets. Oh, this is ticket tarts. Never mind. That dude's still dead. You can play for tickets at the black arcade cabinet. I thought that was a dead end. No, no, no. Oh, it's actually a real game. Huh. Worst Pac-Man. tickets. I think I have some more room. Maybe one more should do it. Just one more prize should be enough. Soon. Here for feeding, or you bring offerings? 
Oh. It's the mascot upgrade. Come back with offering. No, I... Oh, I don't have the food. Sweet tarts that come packaged with arcade tickets. Use to gain plus two tickets and restore health. That's what that is. Reading is good. Car is no longer occupied. Unlocked using the car keys. Big chunk. If you're looking for the intruder, I have disposed of them. You look fresh. It's best you should know either way. My litter has since pro progenated. Progenate? Yeah, progenated around here for years. And what lies beyond me is a truth neither of us can fathom. Can any of us imagine a life outside of this place? Would the world accept what this place has done to us? I will not budge from this spot. Not even for an XXL cheesy bar. Double extra large cheesy bar, huh? Alright. The chonker wants a cheesy bar. I'll get him one. I will be agreeable. Big cheese for the big cat. the arcade, you survived it in the demo. I mean, I think you eventually have to do all the dead ends. I keep calling them dead ends, they're wrong turns. There should be... I just want to buy some more food, and I don't know if this is the one that has food. Let's find out. Yep, this has got some food. We'll buy 11 food. We're gonna need it. Dead turns, wrong ends. False maneuvering. What was it yesterday for Silent Hill? People were coming up with names for Silent Hill, bootleg Silent Hill. What was the one I really liked? Noiseless Plateau, Vacuum Valley, Mute Mound. Anti-acoustic acres. Yeah, that was fantastic, Preach. No sound ground. <laughs> we are truly the lost generation. Mer. Food do you need, son? Got a business card. 
temporary setback. No more food for now. Five 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 six eight one one seven. Let's see if I remember it. Eight, six, six, fruit. Five, 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 six, eight. One, one, seven. You reach the collection department. It's closed its doors, no longer in operation. Please note we are no longer responsible for materials collection for our business partners. If you're calling for debt collection, rest assured our tracking program automatically wires the money we owe you we owe to you directly. One hundred dollars. Wow, thanks. Probably got to do a couple wrong turns now. Vinny, I flubbed up that line the same way last time, too. Wait, you did or I did? Reward paper face. All right, whatever paper face is. Slightly ajar pizza box. HP restored. Paper face goes on the microwave, dude. That's correct. Maybe he will give a cheesy XL. Double XL cheesy. I don't like that ooze. Even the flesh has got a lot of health. You know, compared to how much damage I do. Then they just pop. So, my waitress is poisoned, currently. What is steez.exe? An infantile singularity may have been born under dubious circumstances, but is here nonetheless. Can't use the gum in the menu. Damn. Sticking your hand inside, you feel something. You got three dishes. Oh, thank God. A replica of one of the animatronics inside. It's seen its better days. HP restored. Thanks.
Wow, I'm getting really lucky. But we'll do the meat. Fleshy mounds. That explodes and does damage to its master. Darkest dungeon, but with pizza. It's not entirely Darkest Dungeon, but good- I- Yeah, I hadn't heard that comparison. That's a good one. Wait, do I eat trash? To get that much HP back? Garbage! Do you remember when Danny DeVito was known as a serious, like, kind of versatile actor? And not just, like, some goblin troll man who eats garbage? I think we've talked about this on stream. But he's directed movies. He was in a number of dramas. Um, he... was in Taxi. He was in a lot of good movies. He's in Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, Twins and Junior. Where Arnold was pregnant, and he played his brother, I think, or his, his business partner or something. And then he played his brother in another movie. That was Twins. He was the Penguin. He directed Matilda. Last Action Hero? No, he didn't direct Last Action Hero. He was the cat. Oh, right, he was the voice of a character in Last Action. Boy, he's worked with Arnold a lot. I'm kind of going down a weird Arnold rabbit hole lately, as, as I've discussed yesterday, and I've been... So last night I watched Total Recall, as I said, and that movie it fucking kicks ass. Tomaz. It's still a really good movie. I gotta watch another Arnold movie soon. Maybe Predator. Maybe I'll watch Twins in, in honor of Danny DeVito. Oh shit. The bag forces itself upon you. Please no. Hercules in New York. Yeah, that was a weird movie. They dubbed over Arnold's voice in that one. That was Arnold's first movie. They, um, credited him as Arnold Strong in that movie because they didn't think Schwarzenegger was a good name for the American audiences because they, they wouldn't know how to pronounce it or read it. I see this thing is growing. 
Yeah! You manage to rip off the paper bag as the holes disappear from your vision. The fleshy mounds on the wall begin to shrink and shrivel with a moist squelch. Your motor functions begin to return as you take domin uh, dominance of your body once again. You consider yourself lucky to survive the ordeal, and perhaps the same hope exists for the rest of the staff. Waitress is best. Let's take a look at the wrong turns. So we got the arcade. There's the alleys. Alleyway gate key. Cheesy bar. That's not Cheesy Bar XL. Stool for the playground. And we got the paper face already. It's only three more wrong turns. So we have a couple new things we can do. So... Restum? Chat, did it say restum? Oh, it's a typo. I didn't notice that in the demo. You got sentient frisbee. You got five ammo. Haha, -ha, I'm free! What's... What's with that look? Didn't need that old thing anyway. Listen, I'll be sticking with you as payback, is that cool? The remains of a transposed guest. That is so fucking... grim. The idea of a guest that got stuck in a crane game. Just rotted away. I think I've made a horrible mistake. Um, <clears throat> this is new. <laughs> I suppose I should thank you for what whatever this is. You were haunted by the rustled chef. Can now be summoned during wrong turns. I guess it's back to work for the both of us. Oh wow, okay. Weird. So weird. Locked with an old chain might need an older key to unlock. Well, we still don't have the Chong. <laughs> the Chong. What am I talking about? The Chong. We're gonna do the alley. Wrong turn to get the key. Oh boy, there's a lot here. Hide? That's a, that's a lot of trash. That's good trash. Shouldn't you have stocked up first? I'm feeling pretty good about the, the amount of stock I currently have. I probably... let's see how much HP I have. I'm good. Full HP. Got plenty of dishes. Right, but minus Chong. 
Everything's- I'm all stocked up, but no chong. I think the chef just shows up at random and can help you out the same way those animatronics help you out. That's my guess. It's not good. Yeah, the waitress is definitely amazing. The amount of healing you can get from trash. Should definitely buy more brooms next time. Yep, that was the one thing I should have stocked up on. Well, I, you know, I could have stocked up on several things, but that in particular. Ooh, good, good kill. Oh, what the fuck? You're alive? What are you? Alley Dweller. I've never said the word alley more times in my life than I have tonight. Squeaky clean. This one didn't even need a broom. <laughs> Good modification of the tongue, chat. Nice work. Drowned waiter joins the party. Oh, okay. Well, now I have a fucking party member. I'm gonna have to take damage here. No brooms in the inventory, gotta take damage. Okay. Time to eat. It's okay, I can heal with trash, I think, in, in a moment. Oh god, no, I'm gonna have to eat again. It's a fairly... Lucky run, but just a lot of, um, a lot of, um, tra trash. No, a lot of, uh, toxic sludge. And trash. Something rises from the dumpster. The drowned waiter only has one HP. Sentient frisbee. Here we go. Did that do anything, chat? Didn't end your turn yet, Vin. Oh, okay. Gotta do both turns. Okay, you're healed. Oh, and then the frisbee misses a lot, yeah. So yeah, you gotta heal the waiter... ...who then can use... ...his HP... ...to do damage. Very interesting concept. That thing does, does not want to hit. I'm gonna keep going until I hit with it. Seven. It's pretty good. It just doesn't hit ever. Oh my god. Nice counterattack. Good shit. It's 
Sacrifice your own vitality to restore allies HP. Ah, bad miss. Okay, we need a heal now. Okay, that was good. Really good heal. I thought that was only going to be like an equivalent heal. That was a really good one. Counterattack. Almost dead. Come on now. Yeah! After disposing of the monster, the trash problem seems to be taken care of. The authorities have also stopped their investigation, and the guests seem less uneasy about their trash. Although the rumor about the trash monsters has long since faded, some guests have tried to brave the alleys to see if the legends are true. However, none have returned. Where, where, where is the goddamn brooms? Restroom, maybe. Buy a little bit of food. Definitely could use some food. Vinny started the battle with 1 HP because of all the damage you took from the messes you cleaned up. That makes sense. I thought that was just part of the, um, the thing. But yes, that makes much more sense. That poor... animatronic is still fucked up. 14 brooms. I think the game saves, chat. People telling me to save. I think I'm good. It auto-saves between rooms. The cheesy bar guy, gotta say, needed that a lot more than it looked. It's true. Okay. Pop rocks. What's the emote? Rev has Rev Scarecrow has an emote. That's basically Elmo, but it says fear, and Elmo is angry. I've never seen that. What the fuck? <laughs> what is the context of that? I love it. <laughs> I, I, I need to know that story now. Security guard upgrade. It's about damn time. He drew it himself during Homestuck. 
I didn't need the context. I- and it's still, I don't get it. Chat, let me remind you, as I remind myself, to hydrate. And remember to get up off your chair if you've been sitting for a long time, because, um, your asshole might explode. So I've been told. A weathered pedestal. Whatever was here before used to greet customers as they entered. Well, that's, um... That's not helping. Keep going south. I can't. Vinny, my girlfriend said I love you to me for the first time. That's cool to tell me on stream. Th thanks. I'm, I'm really happy for you. But she doesn't even know me. Easy joke. This is a low-hanging fruit joke, you know? But, you know... There are times when I look at chat and people are just saying all kinds of stuff. I think it's the, the whole thing, like, there's so many people in chat, you just don't think anyone's actually, like, watching. Or reading. And then every now and then I catch it. Vinny, today I sat in a chair for too long and my asshole exploded. I'm pretty sure that's not what happens. I think I got that information confused and mixed up. But, you know, it's- it, listen, it's always good to be safe. Vinny, imagine reading stuff people say on the internet. Imagine... watching someone... play a pizza video game and listening to what they have to say as they share their papinyats about Ringo Starr five days a week. God bless our love. God bless our love. Folding stool. That would be necessary, I think. Arcade's got a cheesy bar, but we already gave one of them... ...wacky cheesy bars. We need a cheesy bar XL. So let's get a fold folding chable. <laughs> folding cha chabal. Damn it. You can't avoid the balls. I watched a video today about what went wrong with the Silent Hill 2 and 3 remasters or whatever. Because I had no idea. Obviously, I'm new to the series, having only played Silent Hill 2 last year. I think, um, it was, um, another Matt video. Because, you know, I watched one Matt McMuscles video, and now YouTube is like, We know you love this. And, yeah, Konami basically lost all their, um, code, or they threw it all out. So the team they gave it to had to start from scratch, 
or not from scratch, but rather from a, um, an older build. Of both games, like a really, like, broken, glitchy, unfinished ga uh, build of both games. And then they ended up replacing the voices. I had no idea that Troy Baker voiced James in Silent Hill 2 Remaster. Which... I mean, there's no need. Vinny, that's actually not uncommon, so it seems. Square didn't preserve their stuff. So it doesn't surprise me that Konami didn't, you know, preserve theirs either. But there was other aspects too, like the reason, you know, a lot of it, like, um, they pulled back the fog quite a bit. And so, as a result of that, you can see a lot of shitty textures that were never really meant to be seen because they were usually, they were previously obscured by the damn fog. Yes, vomit in the ball pit, we finally encountered it. Step right up and take a shit. Now, Troy Baker is a great voice actor. I think he, he does good work, but it's really no need to replace the voice actors. The They did, you know, the, the original voice actors did the material justice. It was supposed to be campy. And it was great. James' voice acting was, was fucking hilarious. It was perfect. Jamie's wife legitimately- James's wife legitimately had great voice acting, yes. There was, there, you know, there was good performances in there too, it wasn't all just cheese. But... Man, Konami's just upsetting. I know we go over this like once every two, three weeks at this point, but... It just... Sucks to think about. Some of my favorite franchises... Are they ever gonna come back? The way they should? Vinny, I might be dumb, but what does campy mean? Campy is, like, intentionally corny. Um, I'll give you an example. I was talking about Total Recall. And Total Recall is a movie that has a little bit of campiness to it. A campy movie, it says here, um, refers to intentionally exaggerated thematic or genre elements, especially in television or motion picture. Camp style willfully overemphasizes certain elements of the genre or theme, creating an almost self-satirical milieu. <laughs> yeah. Paul Verhoeven is a master of campy, but it, he makes it work, and you still believe... Like Starship Troopers and Robocop and Total Recall, for example. You still, like, are, are in the world, you, you believe what's going on, you, you still give a shit, but yet there's this over-the-top, like, um, it just like violence or, uh, like it's an exaggerated, I can't even think, how do I formulate this sentence? Milieu. It is satirical. Starship Starship Troopers is sat satire, but I don't know. It's really self-aware, funny silliness that goes to extreme. Like if you watch the the news in Starship Troopers when they show the TV segments, they're all just taken to way too far extremes. But it works. It's really good. Verhoeven is a very underrated director, I think. I mean, he gets his due. People like him, but I think he's fucking genius. You have disturbed the remains. Someone died in the ball pit. Fuck. <laughs>
That waiter is getting fucked up. Do not die. Beckon aspect shit. Vomiting pretty hard in that ball pit right about now. This game is very good. It's a very simple game, but it, it's effective, and it kind of feels unique, even though it's not. It mixes things up enough that you're still engaged, and it's great. It's just a really great game. It's pretty tightly balanced. Well, here's where I disagree with that slightly. It seems like everyone other than the waitress was not good. <laughs> but then again, maybe I was using them incorrectly. Maybe it was that I was just not familiar with the game again. Uh, and also, maybe they're better now. Maybe the characters are better now. I don't know. Um, what could I do? This... This dude does not want to take damage. Compare the 50 dishes you have to the other resources. Well, now I have more ammo than dishes, but I haven't used any ammo, so... God, it's just getting HP back. Good. That was excellent. Also, I recognize that graphic. Some of the RPG Maker elements that I used ten years ago or more. Should have used that marker a little earlier. It's all good though. Are we all good. Risk there. Got it. With the remains destroyed, a fell silence pervades throughout the playground as the balls slip into unfamiliar uh, stillness. Upon searching the pit, you find no further evidence of its previous occupant, nor do you find any of the rumored lost items. Perhaps it's better to leave things as they are, as nothing remains stuck in this place. You know what's cool? I could play my own music and not get claimed. Isn't that awesome? Let's see what happens. I'm not even kidding. Let's see what happens. Latin Autor or Merlin is going to end up claiming that. <laughs> Counterclaim it. <laughs> yep.
Yeah, I've done my best to make sure that it's not in the content claim system. But when you send your music out to a lot of these places to get it on Amazon, you know, uh, Google and whatever, all the places people listen to music, Spotify, it automatically enters the claim system. And I had to, like, several times email them, hey, take this out of content claim, please. And then people still emailed me saying, Vinny, it's been claimed by this company. And, like, I don't even use the company that's claiming them anymore. That was I, what I used for the first two albums. So, I'm trying... I, I don't think it's a problem now. If it is, if it ever is, if you ever make a video or play it on a stream and you get claimed for it, please let me know so I can fight that and figure out a way to get it out of there. Uh, but yeah, it's really annoying. Ah, oh, shit. You took a wrong turn behind the curtains during showtime as the main attraction of the restaurant guests and their families would flock from all over to watch the popular live musical Susie and the Stees. Prior shows once featured a larger cast of puppets and animatronics, but due to high demand, only the most popular mascots were given a spot in the limelight. Stees.exe Fuck. I'm running out of dishes a little bit too now. I still have plenty for now, but... Forgotten Muppets. Yeah, those poor bastards. Use one dish. It's less likely to miss. Like you're being watched. <laughs> oh, there's... oh. What did it say? Destitute mouse? Destitute mascot. Oh. I thought it was like a mouse mascot. A nondescript mouse mascot. Charles, a powerful rat by the name of Charles, Entertainment Cheese. This is Defunct Land, and this is the history of Showtime Pizza Bear and Charles, Entertainment Cheese. Mouse and showbiz. That mean that that matters. I was gonna have Mickey Mouse call Chuck E. Cheese a bitch, but I didn't know how to fit that in. As you can tell, my brain isn't really wired for comedy at the moment. It's late. <laughs> the music is so slow now. Backside? What is the backside, though? Well, that frisbee's pretty alright when it hits. That's what I was waiting for. I'm 
Vinny, will you be here tomorrow? Yeah, sure. I'll be doing more Resident Evil, which I'm really enjoying that playthrough. I'll be doing uh, Monkey Ball when the embargo is up for a game that came out on the Wii 13 years ago. I don't, I don't know. Uh, Outer Worlds, as you probably heard me talk about yesterday, turned into a fucking fiasco. Where they sent me a key and I can only play the Xbox version of it, even though there's a version on the Windows Microsoft Store. And Obsidian still hasn't gotten back to me. There's like two listings for Outer Worlds on the Windows Store. One is for Xbox and Xbox compatible devices, which means Xbox, and one is for PC. And you can only have one or the other, or you get both if you get Xbox Game Pass. It's it's a goddamn mess. And as I said yesterday, I was on the phone with uh, Xbox support for like an hour, and they were like baffled by this problem. They were like, I don't understand this. Why would they do this? It's not published by Microsoft, so it's not Play Anywhere. Fair enough. Yet there is still a listing for it. That says Windows 10 and PC on the w Microsoft Store. I don't know why that song got really loud compared to the other songs, but... Isn't it timed exclusive to the Epic Store? It's, no, I mean, through Xbox, it's, you can play it on PC without having to, you know, download that. Which I would very much not, not want to download that. You can still buy it for PC on the Windows Store, correct. But I, it's not the Xbox version. Even, it's so confusing and I, I don't get it. I mean, I do get it now that I've been, you know, it's been explained to me, but it's just like, stop. <laughs> Please don't. I like this pu this Muppet is good. This looks like, um, Animal from Muppet Babies, and, and just Muppet in general. General Muppet, my favorite show. Someone in chat just wrote Helmo. Vinny, why didn't you just ask for PC the first time? I don't think... I was never in touch with Obsidian. It was through my YouTube network that they sent a key out. And I was like, hey, I'll take the PC version that is not Epic Game Store. And I got a code for Xbox. And they, you know, they're not... They're probably so busy with, like, customer support right now for their game that I can't get in touch with them. And that's okay, I'll just buy it. But now I have a key that is going to waste. And as I've been explained by the Microsoft people, you cannot release a key once it's been claimed. Oh no, I don't mind buying it. It's a, it's a good game, apparently. Just raffle it off. Nope, can't. It's already tied to my account, and my Xbox is... You know, and it's not even... When I log into Xbox app, it's not even there. The charade ends here. Oh, fuck. To be fair, Game Pass is worth it. No, I, I totally understand that. I just... I'm sick of... I'm... The show is over. Like, I'm subscribed to several things that take my money monthly that I'm just like, why am I doing this? Like, Audible. Why do I need to be subscribed to that? I just didn't want to add another thing that I had to think about to the list. Collector. Oh shit. Can't use skills anymore with the drowned waiter.
But yeah, it's getting annoying. Everything wants you, you to sign up to a service. And I think I know why. They give you that free trial in the hopes that you'll forget about it. And then suddenly, ah, it's only five bucks a month. Come on. You sign up for free 20 minutes. That's it. Come on. You cancel 20 minutes before it all. So, 10 years from now, 2030, you're going to be spending $500 a month on various subscription services for video games, music, and movies, and TV, and it's just going to be like, no one's going to own anything anymore. And I like subscription services, like, I I don't mind subscribing to a streaming service for, mu like, for movies and music. I, I pay for Spotify. I love Spotify. Um, it's convenient. I can throw on a movie in two seconds. It's great. But, yeah, it just... There's downsides, too, when it turns into a thousand services. flashing lights and music ceases as the spurned mascots fall limp around the stage with their corporeal forms destroyed the air turns to a cold mist as if the theater emptied all at once the last ghosts of the musics musics really of the musicals of yore are still speculated to exist if only in the fleeting memory of those strange enough to recall Service fee abolished. You got one sledgehammer. Okay. I know where those are used. Um, it's getting late. I'm definitely tired. Soon I will stop, but I want to bash through a couple walls real quick. Does that mean you don't pay when someone gets fired from now on? I think so. Huh. Portable toilet key. Sniff. Sniff. H Hello? <laughs> it is... Is it, is it gone? It's gone. Yeah, for now. It's just... I really like coming here, but... That thing... Just scares me. Just want my favorite place to eat back. Can you... Make sure it's really gone? I don't want to go out if it's still there. I need proof. Show me... Show me, please. I don't want to get locked into another wrong turn. But please, I will play this again. I think I can probably finish everything I want to finish for Spooptober. Except Resident Evil 1. Which may extend a little bit beyond. Um, Moons of Madness I can definitely finish. I can finish Sea Salt. I can finish this. And then Luigi's Mansion comes out, which I'll be streaming into November, but that's fine. I'm gonna try to, you know, get Luigi's Mansion on Wednesday. If anyone, you know, knows a place in Manhattan that's breaking street date, uh, tell me about it. But, you know, don't tell anyone else. Definitely don't tell Nintendo. But I have a, f uh, a couple places. I definitely know of a couple places that I'm gonna, ex you know, check out. It already has all over. Well, there's a leak. What about Monstrum? I, I may revisit Monstrum. 
The Monstrum is cool, but again, it's, you know, it's a roguelite. It's a r well, randomized, whatever you want to call it. The right turn, save 50 cents when you bring two more children. Parents protest during memorial missing children. Blinded a cracked wall in the corridor. Really? 50 tickets for a prize. Shit. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna play the leaked Luigi's Mansion, because then I have to mod my Switch. I'd, I'd rather not do that. But... Uh... Yeah, if there's a place that actually is selling the physical copy of the game... I'd worry about streaming it early, if that was the case. Vinny, are you going to any con or event in November? I think I'm not going to any con until PAX East in February. Whoops. Wasn't expecting guests on this side tonight. If it makes you feel any better, the clothes over there aren't mine. You look like you got some questions. Thing is, pal, it ain't easy being red, you know? <laughs> I only know what's happening on this end. But I don't want to know what's up on the other end of me. You know, if it is still me over there. I, uh, I don't want to hurt anyone. Just wish that this part of me was all there ever was. Cut myself off from what I can be. Wait a minute. That's it. I'll just lop myself off. If only my arms weren't so wobbly, I could tear myself out, probably. Unless you got anything sharp on you. Whoops. Oh. That's kind of disturbing. Well, it's all disturbing. This game is amazing. But yeah, now I have to find like some kind of sharp object. I guess either a razor or a different object that I may come across later. Yeah, this definitely, this text needs to be, um, shortened for the second time around. Okay, I think pizza game just saves. You see the pizza logo there? In the bottom? I don't know, I think that's a save. I'm just gonna go back to, um... Whoa, what the hell? I'm just gonna go to... Quit. Continue... Great fucking game. Great game. I, I, we have a lot of things to investigate next time. And uh, I think I can finish this. This is absolutely fantastic. And this has been Sunday. It's a kind of a different Sunday stream. I started a little late. And um, again, thank you all for anyone that participated in Vine Sauce's Hope. Or rather, Variety is Hope. And Vine Sauce's Hope. Why not? But, yeah, um, this was fun. Three games, one really, really short game, and I enjoyed tonight's Sunday stream quite a bit. If only every Sunday stream was this good. <laughs> but no, thank you, everybody. I, I will see you tomorrow. Spooptober continues, and hopefully I, I managed to find that Luigi a little early. And, um... But, what will we do without them? Especially ones that don't explode after sitting on a chair for a while.